Anytime you're in a public space where COVID-19 could be present, the CDC is recommending wearing a face covering or mask. But of course, we want to save the medical mask for those who need them. So joining me now is Aaron from the Celtic Knot in Canton. Aaron, it's great to see you. How are you holding up? Good, Alex. How are you? It's great to see. You. Thank you for doing this. Okay, so you have two different types of masks that people can make, both a sew option where you have to sew and no sew. It's kind of like bake and no bake cookies. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, for those of us that can't sew, not as crafty like me, uh, how do we put together a, a mask or a face covering without having to sew it off? Okay, so it's super simple. Um, there are tons of things online. I recommend too, if someone's about to do it and they don't, and they really want to be a little more technical, go ahead and go online, do some research, um, find out what materials work best. I have done a bunch of research. I have found that they're saying 100% cottons with a tight weave. So um, when going into a store, or obviously not going into a store, when going through your stash, uh, which all good quilters and sewers usually have, um, you, you, what you can do is you can hold your fabric up to the light, and if you can see through it, generally they recommend not to use it. It's not gonna keep out as many particles, um, otherwise, you're good to go. Um, definitely wash your fabrics before you do any of it too, because that'll help shrink down your fibers. So again, keeping more out. Um, plus when you as wash as it. Mm -hmm. As far as germs go, of course. Now, are your fabrics at the Celtic Knot available for purchase right now? If people wanted to do that, how do they go about doing that? We can either take orders. I You can leave a message at the store. I'm trying to get back to people as quickly as possible. Um, we're taking Facebook orders. So they message me and I can send pictures or just send out what they need. Um, we're also email. I'm happy to do whatever works for other people and we're mailing them out. I will deliver, you know, whatever I need to do to get people safe. Okay, great. So first thing to do, hold the fabric up. If you can see through it, don't use it. If not, maybe fold it till, till you do. All right, so you have right. a piece of fabric there. What's our next step? All right, so what we're gonna do is, this is a really super easy one for people who aren't crafty because you won't have to step around, which, duh, you know. Um, elastic right now is super hard to get, but I know we can still go out a little bit. Uh, I put my face mask on yesterday and dropped into the local dollar store. Hair ties. Hair ties are elastic. These will work. So again, super easy. Something you'll probably have around the house. Um, if you're a girl, you'll have a million of them all over the place. Just ask my husband. Um, so all you're going to do is you're going to fold this into thirds, essentially. This I might have cut this a little small. I do apologize. So you're going to fold it into thirds. Then at that point, yeah. what we're going to do... I'm gonna try and move this, but I'm not so great with this stuff. Okay. It's okay. So we're gonna do this. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ties and just put them on the ends here and scrunch them down until you are there. And that's perfect. And then, so that's just, those are gonna be the little straps that go over your ears. Yeah. Then you're gonna do it again on the other side. If you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. Then, you're gonna push it down far enough that you can fold your two ends in together. Yep. Oh, so you're gonna fold over the edges there, okay. That, safety pins, again, something you should have probably lying around your house. And you're just gonna use a couple safety pins, pin it together right here. Okay. I would flip it in it so it's not in your mouth. Yep. And then you have your, I'm gonna set you down again. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then you've got your face mask. Awesome. So easy enough. Okay, so say we want to get, I love that, by the way, nice fabric you have there. All right, so next one we're going to do is for those of those of the folks that are more crafty that know how to sew, I have to admit, I don't know how. Uh, similar concept though, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, generally. Um, again, oh, no. same fabric. <laughs> Uh, a little more in detail. Um, again, so you're you're going to need just your general sewing supplies, your pins, your your scissors, your cutting tape. You know, your cutting mat, rotary cutter generally works the best. Otherwise, scissors are fine. Um, again, elastic is getting hard to come by. If you have it, um, you've got your. I used an eighth inch. You can use quarter inch. I do know people are you know scrounging around to see what they have. They're trying to use half inch and such and cutting them. Um, I tried it. Once you cut the elastic, it tends to fray and it may fall apart. So washability won't be there if you do that, um, is my concern. And washability is really important right now. They're saying every time you go out to rewash the mask. So that, that's that's a good point to know. Yeah, well, that was a concern because um, you want these to hold up. Um, so again, you've got your hair tie elastic. I just cut this one. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut a, uh, this is the easiest pattern I have found personally. Um, you're going to cut, oh, I have that. 
about, I think it was 16 by eight and a half, just a sheet of fabric. Again, you want to not be able to see through it. You're going to fold it in half, color it size together, and go ahead and sew it off. Leave yourself a two inch gap in the center. Um, with that gap, you're going to be able to flip it right side out when you need to, um, which I have done here. So I've sewn it together across the edge there. Let me get my fingers in here if I can. Okay, and so you're yeah. two inch gap there, so you can pull it around when you need to. So when it's done like this, you're going to fold it. Let's see. So your seam is in the middle. So for those of us that the last time we that we used a sewing machine was home ec class in like seventh grade, uh, this is okay. very similar to the pillowcase. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Super easy. <laughs> <laughs> you can make them as hard as you want, but don't don't re I, at this point. I'm just like don't remake the wheel. You know, yep. it, it works. It's it's good enough as Absolutely. long as your face is covered and everybody's healthy. That's all we care about at this point. Um, so what I did though is I turned it flat, ironed it down, left my seam open. Um, at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to take your elastics. Again, you're going to use about a seven inch strip. Um, hair ties are, I just measured, only six inches when you cut them open. So you may want to make your mask an inch wider if you, you know, just trying to use what we have. You're going to pin these into the, you're going to put them inside. Pin them in. And then you're going to sew off right here. So you'll end up with it. So my elastic, it will bunch. Yeah because your elastic's in there. At this point, you're just gonna turn it right side out. And again, great fabric you have there. Thank you. Again, grabbing at the store, bringing home bolts. My daughter's like, what are you doing, mom? I'm making masks. <laughs> Do you need that much? Yes. <laughs> so you'll swap it out and there is almost the end of it, but you've got your ear ties in. You've got a gap back here. So what I have been doing too, because the CDC has also said that interfacing, um, a bonded interfacing will work to keep out just a little more protection. Um, you want one that is not woven. You want it bonded, as they call it. I don't know if you can see that, but again, it, it makes it harder to see through. And it, it irons down. So what I've been doing is sliding it in that pouch, ironing it down. You can iron it down before you, um, before you sew off the edges. I just didn't think ahead when I was doing it and I like to make things harder on myself. So, um, but you can also put that inside to give yourself a little more protection. Um, they're saying two layers is good. Anything more is great, but you got to remember too, you want to be able to breathe through these. Um, so I, did I know find I that with my mask. I've been wearing one of these, one of these masks that somebody made for me and I, you, you do, you breathe a little bit heavier. So I think testing it beforehand. Yes. You want to make sure no germs are getting through, but you do want to make sure that air can get through. <laughs> So important. Um, they're saying don't put them on children under two. Uh, anybody that has breathing trouble, obviously you shouldn't be going out anyway. But if you have breathing trouble, don't wear them. Um, there's a lot of precautions too, you know, things you don't think about every day. So just be aware and maybe check before you go ahead and do it. But I did read coffee filters. People are using coffee filters. Extremely hard to breathe through from what I've read. So I would stay away from those. Just stick to what you know. Um, T-shirt material is apparently <clears throat> really great. Um, flannel as well, if you want to line it with flannel. Flannel's another one that's a nice tight woven. Um, and you could even use one layer of flannel towards your face and then the other layer, just the cotton. All different options, all different things you can do. Um, but at this stage, what I've been doing is, uh, these seem to be a little floppy around the nose. And I was making them for a niece of mine who is a nurse, and that made me nervous. I, I wanted her a little more protected. So I've found that putting some wire in them, <clears throat> a lot of people I know are using um, little pipe cleaners. Yeah, pipe cleaners. From I have heard that these rust back again. In the crafting them. days, yes. Right. <laughs> I'm taking it right back to school, Alex. Um, <laughs> and if you're children, you know you have a million of these laying around your house. So uh, another good one is um, I found some florist wire. This you might have to double up a little bit. It's awful thin. I also, if you make, if you do one craft, generally you do them all. So I have wire that I've used to make jewelry with too, which is a little heavier. This was about a uh, 18 gauge. This is 24. The 24 I did triple up when I did it, but I twisted it together to make it to one wire. Um, so well, Aaron, I, I know that you are busy um, making all sorts of masks, so I don't want to take too much of your time here. Uh, but really quick, just thank you so much for for taking the time. Get back to making some masks. Lastly, again, if people wanted to order from the Celtic Knot uh, to get some fabric, get some of these things, uh, they can contact you through your Facebook page. 
email, or, or can call you directly. Uh, any last minute tips for us? Wear them, please. Be safe, be healthy, be happy. Take care of yourselves and your families. Karen, thank you so much, and we'll talk to you soon.